In this movie, I'm going to show you two different ways to open up a new browser window. And the reason you might want to do that is pretty simple. Often you'll have a visitor at your site, and you will want to create a link that opens up in a different window. And that may be that you want to make it easy for them to get back to the page they were on, or maybe you're sending them to an external link, and uh, there is no easy way to navigate back from there. So by having it open in a separate window, they can just close it and be right back in your site. Oh. Now there's two different types of windows I'm going to show you how to create here. One is going to be creating a target window, and what that means is it will open up in a separate window or a separate tab, depending on the, the browser's default settings. And it will be just the same size as the current window. So whatever size the current window is, that's the size that the new window is going to be. So it's very direct, and you see that quite often. The other type of a new browser window we'll create is actually generating a little piece of JavaScript that fortunately Dreamweaver makes for you. Uh, Dreamweaver calls this working with behaviors or creating behaviors. So I will show you how to do that. And the benefit here is that you can have the window open up in a very specific size. And so I use this all the time because I really like the idea that I can control the size of the window and control the user experience a little bit more by, by doing so. That requires a couple of extra steps, but it's really quite simple as well, and uh, we'll get to that second. So let's start off by uh, marking what we want to be the link. And so I'm going to make this text right up here at the top become the link that will open up a new window. So I'm going to go down to the, the bottom of the code, into the HTML, and I am going to drag over the text that I want to be the link. Now, could I have done that here in Design View? I don't know. Yes, I could. But I usually prefer to do it in Code View. That way I know exactly what I'm marking. Right! Now, we've created links already, and this first part is going to be no different than what we've done before. I just want to go down here to the link box inside the properties window. Make sure you're inside the HTML tab and click on the little browse folder right here. And then just navigate to the, the HTML page I would like to open. So I'm going to click on this one here, click open, that puts in the link, adds it to the code, and then just one more step. Just to the right of the link box is another box called Target. And if I click on the little arrow here next to this, it will drop a menu. Some of it's getting chopped off on your screen. But the second choice down is blank. And so I'm just going to choose that, and you'll see how that modifies the code in here. So this is inside of an H3 tag. Then we've added a hypertext reference that is the web address as an attribute, and then we've added the target window blank also as an attribute in that anchor element. And so if we save this now, and we preview this in Firefox, you'll see that when I roll over this, yes, that's the link, I click on it, and you'll notice it will open up a new tab that allows me to easily go back and forth between the two. So if I navigate here and I'm done with this page, then I can just close that window and I'm right back on the original page, which is why this is a good technique to use. For sure. All right, let's go back to Dreamweaver and let me show you uh, a different technique. And so I am going to just click in the code in uh, where that link is. And then down here in the properties window, I'm just going to delete that web address and hit the enter key and that will remove all that code from there. Now what I'd like to do is to make sure that that line of text is is marked and then before I go create the behavior there's one thing I need to do. I need to tell Dreamweaver that this should behave like a link and so if I type a hashtag in there and then hit the enter key you'll see what that will do is it will add an anchor element with a hypertext reference of the pound sign. And so when a browser reads that, it's going to know it's not really going to a specific location, but that it should behave as a link. And so that's what that will do. And so now I can save this, and let's just, let's just preview this again. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are, and I roll over this, and this is behaving like a link. Now, if I click, this isn't going to go anywhere, but it just makes it take on the attributes that I have defined uh, that the link should have. 
Okay, one more thing before we create the behavior is I'd like you to look down here at this little tag indicator. And this shows you right now that I have clicked inside the anchor element, and that is inside of an H3 element, inside of a div called link, and then inside of another div called wrapper, which is inside of the body. So if you're ever confused about your structure, you can always look right in here. But the reason I'm pointing this to you now is I'd like you to click on the little anchor symbol and just make sure that whole anchor is marked in your code. I could have dragged over it, but this is an easier way to do it, I think. Now what I need to do is create my behavior. Now the behavior window is not stuck over here anywhere. You're going to have to open it from the window. So I'm going to do that. Pull down the window menu and pull down to behaviors, which is just a little bit above the middle. Click on that and it will open a little floating window that I always end up attaching in here. So you can do that if you like. So I'm going to drag that now, pull this up, put it in there, and then I will have easy access to it in the future. So to create a new behavior is very simple. You just click on this little plus sign and then it gives you this list of behaviors to choose from. So we'll cover a couple of other of these in class and you feel free to play with any of these you want. Uh, but the one I want is right here open browser window. And it's pretty straightforward. URL to display. So in other words, what HTML address do you want to go to? So I'm going to click on browse, uh, choose that same file, and so there's the address. And now I get to tell Dreamweaver what size I would like it to make the window. So I've already done the math on this based on the margins and the sizes of the dibs and stuff like that. With your solution, you'll have to do the same thing. But for mine, it's 700 width, and then the height is 790. So obviously this is in pixels. And then only one more thing I need to do is you have these choices of what qualities the window can possess when it opens. And the only thing I like to check is resize handles. Just in case there's any reason for the person to resize the window, they can do it. They aren't locked out of that feature. The rest of the stuff I really do not want to show up in my window. No way. So finally I click OK. And then you'll notice in the code a couple of things happen. You'll notice at the bottom of the head, it inserted some real funky looking type. Well, this is JavaScript. Ah! So this is a particular function that is then called down here in the code. So this right here. So it's telling it, you know, it opens up this file in a new window. It is resizable. And this is the width and the height that the window should be. So two pretty small pieces of code, but that creates a very powerful interface with the user. So let's save this again and then preview one more time. Okay, so here's our window. Again, that behaves like a link should. I click on it and it opens up a window exactly the size that I told it to. And so I really like this technique yes, dear. because it floats on top, and so it's easy for me to see that the page I came from is right there, and if I want to go back to it, I can either close this window or just click on it. You may find yourself using this technique quite a bit, too. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. That's your introduction to behaviors. I'll show you another type of behavior um, in the next video.